Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing a special version of Jupiter Plays the Ludum Dari 35 with the Devon Digital Community. The Devon Digital Community is a community of game developers that are local to my area where I live. All of the games in this video were specifically made by the Devon Digital Community for the Ludum Dari 35 at their on site location. The Ludum Dari 35 is a two part jam and competition. The jam is a bit easier, the competition's a bit harder, there's some different requirements for each. But all of the games entered in this video, again, were made from the Devon Digital Community, and they all look pretty great. So I'm going to be playing them. If you want to check out the games, there'll be links to them in the description. So feel free to do so. Thank you very much. Next! We're playing the game Stackers. Alright, new game. Alright, so we've got our wall behind us. Turn the blocks into what we need them to be. And then we fit space and the wall will come forward and try to go around the block. So, bam. Alright, you win. Next level. Bam. Perfect. Next level. Alright, so now I've got two things that I have to go through. Make you both cubes. Ooh. Okay, probably good. Might have needed to be a little bit over, but I think we'll be fine. Nope, we're good. Cleared it. Awesome. I feel like I'm playing these levels twice. Now I'm pretty sure that'll fit through too. Nope, it's rolling away. <laughs> Aw, oh, the circle rolled away. Oh, it still sort of made it, maybe? Okay, yeah, it did. Now we're a bit closer this way. It's gonna be fun when we have to start stacking them up and everything. Yep. Alright. Seven. There. Nope, stay. Perfect. I am the best. This is very nice. Oh, looking. This this got hard though. Right. So you don't have a lot of time. Okay. Probably there. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, maybe the square should have been over a bit. Ah. Uh. Yeah, oh, I won. It's okay. Everyone made it through. <laughs> Next. We're playing Sophia. My mouse doesn't lock in the screen, so it's going to be a bit of an issue. But this is a game originally made for VR. Oh, wow, look at that. This is creepy as fuck. This little girl skipping. Oh wow, just watching her, I don't know what to do really. It's kind of captivating, the singing in her. Where'd she go? Oh God, this is creepy. Oh, I think it's gonna be scary. Hi. Oh, you look sad. And angry. Oh goodness. What? Oh. Okay. So Freya. So Freya. I don't know if this is just the beginning or if this is the end. But that was really quite creepy. <laughs> Next. Oh, shapeshifters! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Sumo Shapeshifters. Choose your fighter! Right. Wait, wait, wait. We've got pointy head, yellow fuzz, corner? Corner, yep. Lemon oh. splice. Spice. Can't believe I said spice. Lemon spice. Mm. Percy. Hurts the. Nailed it. Joy. Mm. Roger. 
Oh, I like Roger. I'm stuck with Roger. Roger. Oh, it's a multiplayer's oh. game. Pointy head. Oh. Yellow, Yellow fuzz. fuzz. I lost a put. Oh. Lemon Three, spice. Two, one, fight. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh, so this is like multiplayer. Alright. Oh. Let's figure this out. G G G will be this guy. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Triangle just seems to be going. Oh. Where's our star guy? Ah. Oh. Nope, don't don't go out. Don't go out. Oh, you totally oh. went out. Let's see, bam. So everyone would fight in the middle here. We'd kind of like run into each other and yeah. take each other out. You kind of like fire oh. new versions of yourself into. I don't know what, how you end up like completely out. Oh. Oh. Like that, I guess. Oh. I love the audio oh. to this. Just that it like it reads everything for you. It seems like a really neat little game. Uh, if only I had more friends. Kirsty with a C. Kirsty. Oh, Corona. Look at them reading it all. He nailed oh. it. Let's try a uh, joy. Three, it two, does not look very one, joyous. fight. He. Ah. Uh. Oh. oh, I see. There's sort of leaves by their name. Oh. Leaves. These guys are gonna go face off. Yeah. Once they get going, they sort uh. of slide in the other direction, so. Uh. Uh. Forward, we'll, we'll team up. You get uh. Joy, I'll get the other guy. Uh. Uh. And just try not to slide uh. out at the end. <laughs> this is a really funny little game. Next. We're playing Legend of the Bucca. The Puka is a mythical creature, a shapeshifter of Relic legend in Cornwall, it's called the Buka, and can take the form of a benevolent creature or an evil demon. So sailors would leave it offerings of fish to appease it. This game takes place off the coast of Cornwall, and you must fish as much as possible during the calm of, calm of day before wrestling buckas waves in the night. I love Cornwall. It's a very very beautiful harbor side area. Lots of fish. I fed seals in Cornwall. I have a blog post about it. All right, my lover, what a beautiful day it is. Not a cloud in sight. Now these waves be guarded by the mighty Bucca e as a proper fearsome creature. What the people around here be scared of. Back along, they used to leave fish out as offerings for him. So make sure to catch some spare fish in case we get caught in a storm. You catch fish by floating over them and press that their space bar. Once they stop struggling, press spacebar again to hoist them on board. So be quick mines so they don't swim away. Good luck. Oh, okay. Yeah, I totally failed. Because I thought... Yeah, I, I thought my boat just had to be... But it's like this line. I'll wait until they're done struggling, and that's how we've caught them. This is pretty cool. I like the texture on the waves and everything. And the whole story behind it. And it's pretty cool that it's about a place where I've been. I very much loved Cornwall. It was beautiful ocean, beautiful beaches, tons of fresh, fresh fish. Bam, we need some more fish though. So that we don't have harsh waves. Bam. Good job, look at all them fishes. But wait, there's a storm over yonder. Alright, keep the boat steady. The boca is kicking up a right storm. When them their bars are overlapping, press spacebar as much as you can. We need to steady her long enough to give three fish to Booker. All right. All right. Almost there. Got it. It's one fish. These fish men are struggling in these waves. So I'm guessing I'm trying to fish fish out of a bucket or something. Wow. The creature in the ocean looks very creepy. I like it. I like the little textured bits on her. Got her. Three fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Didn't expect her to fly through the sky. Proper job. Let's see how you fare tomorrow. Next. Food. 
man. We're flying, I don't trust this food, man. Okay. Trust only this. So I have to trust the cake. Right, it's not you. Alright, not you. Look at all these different... Yeah. What? I think I messed up that one. Alright. You suck. Just funny. one level. I don't trust this developer, man. <laughs> I don't trust this food, man. I like these people with food heads. Trust only this. <laughs> it looks so goofy. It's a really cool idea. How is that wrong? Oh, because have to be like... Oh, I messed up big time. Okay, Nicely so done. it's not even just the food, it's like trust the person as well. This. So you need a white guy with... A wife beater on who has donuts on their head or bagels or whatever. They look like bagels, not donuts, but yeah. <laughs> oh, we got we got a good medal this time. Just one level. I don't trust this developer, man. <laughs> I don't trust this food, man. I like it. I like this trust idea. Only this. So like food shapeshifters, and you can like trust the ones that are the same as you. I like how we're just throwing them against the wall. Bam. This is a pretty neat little game. I approve. Next. Yes. Last but certainly not least from the Devon Digital community, we have uh, Sideglide. Move the mouse up and down to fly. Alright. Flapping builds speed. Mm, yeah, but we don't really want to fly into anything. Alright. So, move the cursor to steer Omega. Flew through as many rings as possible. Okay, I see the rings are up there. Oh, uh, this is quite cool. Good luck. Alright. So, we need to sort of slowly move our mouse up and down. Look at her. To move her wings, to flap them so that we can gain speed and momentum. And then, once we have speed and momentum, well, we can fly into stuff. Okay, so there's the rings. Wow, there's tons of rings. Wow, I love the like, little bits that her feathers almost, her like robotic feathers, because she's a robot bird, move into. It looks very nice. I don't know. We're probably not going to get through a ring, though, because so, I suck at these types of games. I also like the mini-map as well, though. All right. Aiming for that one. Uh, nope, we're not. Okay, we can do this. Nope, missed it. I'm very not good at, like, flying games that involve jumping through rigs and stuff. I don't know why, I've just never quite figured them out. Oh, but I really do like them. These rings are moving as well. Is my timer going down? 14, 13. Yeah, you're not going to get through any girl. I'm just starting to understand how you work. It's kind of relaxing, though, flying through this beautiful valley. I sucked at it, but it was pretty relaxing. Thanks for playing, Cyborg. 003S48. Your final score was zero. Probably zero. Yeah, it was zero. I don't think you understand how to play the game. No, I do understand. I'm just not very good. Look at that. It's really neat looking. Anyway, that's the last game from the Devid digital community. A nice, really nice group of them for the Ludum Dare. It's quite impressive. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.